Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be expanding two brackets. So let's take a look at the first example. Expand and simplify the following. We have x plus 2 in brackets multiplied by x plus 3 in brackets. How you would do this is very straightforward. Go to your first bracket, the bracket on the left, the x plus 2. Take the first term and you can highlight it or you can just put a little mark next to it so you don't forget what you're dealing with. And you're going to take that term and multiply it onto the entire second bracket. So let's see how that works. We're going to have x multiplied by x, which gives us x squared. And then we're going to have x multiplied by positive 3, which gives us plus 3x. And you'd write it below the brackets just like this. For the second part, you're going to go back to the first bracket and take the second term this time, include its symbol. So we're going to go to this plus 2 over here. And you're going to take that and multiply it by everything in the second bracket, which is exactly what we did for the first step, except this time we're taking the second term of the first bracket and multiplying it onto everything. And this gives us positive 2 multiplied by x gives us plus 2x, and positive 2 multiplied by positive 3 gives us positive 6, or plus 6. And now all you have to do is collect like terms and simplify. So there's only one x squared term here, so I'm just going to go ahead and write down x squared. For the x, there are two terms with x in it. There's the plus 3x and there's the plus 2x. And if we combine them, we get plus 5x. And of course, the final term, the constant, plus 6, is the only number in the expression. So we just write it down at the end like this. And there you have it. That's how you expand two brackets. Let's take a look at this example here. We have 2x minus 3 in brackets squared. Now many students are going to make the mistake of thinking they can take this square and apply it to each term. So like 2x squared and 3 squared. This is incorrect. Do not do this. When you have a square on top here, what it means is this 2x minus 3 is being multiplied by itself twice. So it looks like this. 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3. So you're actually required to expand two brackets whenever you see an expression in a bracket squared. So let's go ahead and solve this like we've done in the previous example. We're going to have 2x multiplied by everything in the second bracket. So this is going to give us 2x multiplied by 2x, which is 4x squared. Then we're going to have 2x multiplied by negative 3, which is negative 6 x. And now for the second part, we're going to take the second term in the first bracket, minus 3, and multiply it onto all terms in the second bracket. And this is going to give us negative 3 multiplied by 2x, which is again another minus 6x, and then negative 3 multiplied by negative 3, which is plus 9. So now if we go ahead and simplify this by collecting like terms, we're going to have 4x squared, since there is no other x squared term to combine with it. And then we're going to have minus 6x subtract another 6x, which gives us minus 12x. And of course, we have the plus 9 at the end. And that's how you'd expand double brackets when you have an expression being raised to the power of 2. Let's take a look at this final example here. We have two brackets being multiplied together and a constant on the outside of the first bracket. The first thing to do here would be to take this constant, this 2 on the outside, and multiply it into the first bracket. So this will give us 2x plus 4. Now you can go ahead and put brackets around this because it still has to be multiplied onto the bracket to the right here. And how you would now expand this is as we've done in the previous examples. Take your first term from the first bracket and multiply that onto all terms of the second bracket. So we're going to have 2x multiplied by x squared, which gives us 2x to the power of 3. And then we're going to have 2x multiplied by plus 2x here, which is going to give us plus 4x. And then finally, 2x multiplied by negative 3, which is going to give us minus 6x. Now let's do the same for the second term in the first bracket. We're going to take this plus 4 and multiply it onto everything in the second bracket. And this is going to give us plus 4 multiplied by x squared, which is plus 4x squared, positive 4 multiplied by positive 2x, which will give us positive or plus 8x, positive 4 multiplied by negative 3, which will give us minus 12. 
And now we simplify this by collecting the like terms and we should have our final answer. Since we only have one term with an x cubed, I'm just gonna go ahead and write this down, two x cubed. I'm now gonna collect all of my terms with an x squared. I'm, you know, I try and like simplify in descending powers of x's. So even though this x term is next, I'm gonna try and find if there are any terms with a square. And there are, there's one, this plus four x squared. So I'm gonna write that down as my second term, plus four x squared. And now I'm gonna collect my x's. I have plus four x here, minus six x here, and a plus eight x here. And if I combine them, plus four x, plus eight x is plus 12 x, minus six x, which will just give me plus six x. And of course, we have the minus 12 at the end, which we can just bring down and attach it to the expression like this. And there you have it. This is your final simplified expression from expanding two brackets. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.